Hey, hello, Jeff from Smoke and Tea Jets. Look what project we got coming up next. It's an eight wheel stretch Batmobile limo. I've got uh, four windshields, two in the front, uh, two in the back there. Batman, Robin are in there. Alfred, he's a uh, chauffeur and everybody. Uh, in the back there, we have Catwoman and Batgirl. They're getting freaky in the jacuzzi, guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm not going to make another one, guys. We're going to measure this out. I'm going to show you what you need to do to make one like this. I've got the back turbo red light going on. Uh, you know, when you hit the juice, I have the beacon going on. I made this thing years ago, guys, absolutely years ago. I've had several big offers on it. It's very difficult for me to let go. But listen, I will show you a very inexpensive way to, to, to do this. I had to learn the hard way. I, I made a mold of the Batmobiles uh, again years ago and I was literally making my own Batmobiles to create this uh, my own molds to create the windshields all that stuff I'm going to show you a very very uh, quicker way a more inexpensive way that you can do it and you can probably start uh, very very shortly alright guys let's dive into it alright uh, to, to make this uh, stretch limo Batmobile stretch limo you're going to need three bodies you're going to need three bodies. Again, uh, I made my own molds and all that stuff. Now, these are absolutely wonderfully done. They're made by Dash. They're very, very, very inexpensive. You can find them all over eBay, and uh, private uh, people are selling them as well. And plus, they give you the heads. See the heads? There's a little package of heads. And the front windshields and the back windshields, they give you everything you're going to need. Uh, if you think you might need more than three, get more than three, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, that, that's up to you. But to do the project, you're going to need at least three. Next, uh, as far as uh, other things you'll need, obviously, like a guide pin, uh, a, a get a good working T-Jet chassis. And you see the, a couple of different size bulbs there. Now, the bigger bulb, that's all I was exposed to when I made this. Um, after making this, I really wish I would have had one of the small ones for the beacon on top. Um, because, the, you know, I, I, obviously I could have did a better job on the beacon. But the, um, the, the, the ones there, the green ones, I know they're green, they should be red. But uh, I didn't have any red ones. But they're a, uh, what are they, like the 12 to 16 volt? They work great with the T-Jets. And again, I, I keep mentioning these guys, but Gulf Coast Model Railroad, they have a lot of these supplies in stock right away. I tell you, you know, once you got the essentials, you know, the lights, the guide pin, you know, a few of those small screws and things like that, the, the chassis and all that, you got your bodies. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to do some cutting on these bodies in order to get the proper length of the uh, limo there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a, a picture and we'll talk you through it. I'll, I'll draw some lines, but I, I'll put a measuring, um, like, like a measuring tape up against the side of the Batmobile so we can see exactly where each cut is. All right, while I'm talking here, yeah, I know you can't read the tape right now, but I'm going to put a picture up in overview so you can see exactly where to cut the, um, the bodies, okay? Now, um, there's going to be the first body. You're literally just going to want to cut the nose off, okay? And the uh, measurement is right there. It's right there. And again, you'll, the, the nose will be off, but you're going to need a second body in order to get the length of the, the middle part of the car, the car that houses the chassis. You're going to need a second body because you've already cut off more of the nose than you could possibly, you know, uh, use the rest of the car. So the next, the next Batmobile you got to get, next one you got to get, it's just going to be the midsection of the car. And here's where we cut that off, okay? You see between that line and that line? That's where I did it. I cut it right off right there. And so the front nose of it is cut off and the back end of it is cut off right there at those two lines. And uh, the, the minor box that I've showed you a bunch of times, guys, uh, I'll see if I can get some pictures of it. Plus the saw, that's how I cut these. It gives me a great perpendicular cut, and it just it goes right through these things, and you just take your time, and it just goes right through. Now the third Batmobile you're going to need, you're just going to need the butt end of it. That's it, guys. You're just going to need the butt end of it, and you're going to cut it off from right there, uh, and you can measure it. You can measure it uh, right there. Yeah, to the end there, to the end. And that's where you cut it off. Again, sand them flush. Like, um, put the part that you just cut, sand it real nice uh, on a, you know, like a fine piece of sandpaper, and then just dry fit them together to make sure it's, you know, the way you want. But that's how you cut the body, 
into the sections that you need and that's why you need three bodies to begin with. Alright, let's take a quick look on the underneath side, see what we got going on. Now you see the front part right there? Okay, now what I did there, parts were scarce when I made this thing. I didn't have a lot of extra parts like I do now. I used the front end of a T-jet there and I made a mold because I knew it would, you know, put the I could put the tires where I wanted. And then I screwed it in place. And then you can obviously see where the uh, the, 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 the chassis is. And then uh, I happen to have, on the back part there, I happen to have a, um, a, a T-Jet chassis that was already scrapped, so I just used the back end. And underneath that, underneath that, that little screw post is uh, glued to a um, the, the jacuzzi, the jacuzzi part of it. And uh, I'll talk you how to make that. You just get a couple of pieces of plastic, and uh, we'll go through that. You make it the depth that you you need for it, and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, you can see how I got both the lights uh, soldered in there. Again, not very well. I didn't have very good tools at the time, but I did the best with what I had. All right, got it uh, disassembled as far as it, uh, I can right now, and you can see the I got four screw posts in there, and um, the, the front screw post is for that front little bit that has the extra wheels, the back screw post on the uh, uh, jacuzzi bottom there, that's for the uh, back extra wheels there, and the uh, two screw posts are where it would normally go on the T-Jet regularly. Now, in back there, that's what the lighting rig looks up. I know it doesn't look too good. Again, I did the best with what I had at the time. I had the big old lights, and I really wish I would have had a smaller light for the uh, beacon in the middle there. I think that would have uh, did a little bit better there. So that's what it looks like on the underneath side, guys. You know, listen, while I get it upside down, just want to address one thing. The, um, the jacuzzi. Optional, optional, optional. I thought it'd be fun to have it, and so I did. I used a piece of styrene, and what I mean by styrene, just a thin piece of plastic, again, Gulf Coast Model Railroad, and uh, you know any type of model glue holds it together very good. And it comes in different, uh, I'm going to turn it over here, it comes in um, like uh, different patterns. Some of them are just plain, All you know, both sides are plain, others have like this half inch square and things like that, some have quarter inch squares and whatnot. But I just use a, a couple pieces of styrene to make the, um, to make the jacuzzi. Now, you see the um, dash, the one that I got to uh, lean up against here? Okay, here's what I did, just with an X-Acto knife, if it were a very sharp X-Acto knife, this would have been too sharp, but <laughs> with a sharp X-Acto knife, I just start, started cutting the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the jacuzzi out by very carefully taking the X-Acto knife along the lines of the trunk. And when I get to the corners, I use like a little rat tail, um, you know, a uh, rasp here that I have, and it just cleaned up the corners and whatnot. But it doesn't take too long. You think, oh, you know, it'll take a week. No, it doesn't. Just go take your time with, again, a sharp exacto, cut slowly, cut carefully, and again, you can get the, um, the, the uh, jacuzzi cut in through the um, uh, back of the trunk there. Again, that's optional. Do it if you want, but that's how I did it. That's how I did it. Now, the uh, back turbo light, the back turbo light, I just used a uh, drill, a, uh, uh, where's my drill, here it is, I just used a drill, and I, I, I put it right in where the uh, turbo should go, and then I kept with my little rat tail, I just kept making the hole just a little bit bigger until the, ha until it, the, the light fit in there. And the same thing is true with the beacon. I just drilled the beacon out, and then I kept with my little rat tail, I kept making it a little bit bigger until the light fit up there. Once again, I wish I would have had a smaller light for the beacon, but nevertheless, that's what I got. So, those are some of the other things. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'll put it back together here in just a sec. But we'll talk about painting it up next. Because uh, there's ways you can do it. You've you got to do everything freehand. You can take things out uh, if you'd like. Uh, it would take quite a while. Come out real good. But, uh, like the bat, I don't know how you do the bat unless you get like a sticker or do it by freehand. And uh, I will talk you through it, guys. All right, going to start addressing uh, how, how do we paint these? How do we get the red stripes on? How do we get the bat on? You know, if you want to do Batman and Robin, you know, the front grill, the uh, the back turbo, the, you know, the, the silver accents that are underneath the uh, windshields, those type of things. I'm going to talk you through it, guys. You see what I got in the back there? That um, it, it's like a, a paint stick. It's like a paint magic marker, marker that type of thing. Uh, made by Tester, and it's a this particular one's a gloss black. And I'll, I'll demonstrate. I wish I had a new one on here, but I can still show you the, the tip. The reason I like these, let me get the cap off. The reason I like these is you see the tip, it's like a magic marker tip. 
Okay, and the reason, and it comes to point, it comes to a real nice point. You see what I'm talking about there? It comes to a real nice point. Now, the reason I like this, and it, the, and it makes the it makes the paint in the Batmobile so easy, so easy. When you put the tip down on the tip, you know, right on the edge there, in a red one, not a black one, and then you just literally, literally just pull it down the, the, the side of the car the same way, and you'll get a nice red stripe on the top there. Now you see around the wheel wells and the stripe going down the side there, the same principle applies. Now I tell you what, when I first started out, I didn't have these, um, I didn't have these these uh, paint magic marker sticks, and what I did is I taped all along the uh, the wheel wells, and I taped all, you know, and then I got a perfect, you know, and it, it took way too much time because it's raised, because it's raised, it's fairly easy to do with this. Now, I know I, uh, we were talking about, you know, you should get three Batmobiles to start the project. Uh, a buddy of mine was here and, uh, during the last uh, segment or two, and uh, he says, listen, you can probably do it in two, and we were going back and forth. I said, yes, I know you can do it in two, but get three because you might, something might not come out perfect. And, uh, and the reason I say that, remember I was telling you about when I did the trunk into the, the jacuzzi, my first attempt, I failed. Okay, I failed. So I was very thankful that you know I, I, I would make the things. I can make as many as I want, and that type of thing. But guys, get three. Uh, we none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. So that, that's the purpose of having three. And we're going back and forth on that a little bit. I just want to make sure that hey, you know, you can probably do it too. Well, there's no room for flub ups. There's no room for flub ups. So um, now listen, the the uh, the red there in the uh, the bottom, the grill and everything again fairly easy to do around the lights there um, you just put you just put again a red not a black one you just put it on the edge there and just very carefully do it because they're raised out they're raised out same thing with the bottom and I know that the uh, the, the bottom there's got that silver grill and all that stuff I know that um, the only way I've been able to do that is just get a very fine a very fine paintbrush and uh, just use some uh, silver paint and take your time doing it take your time doing it now I'll tell you what I got. I got a great little trick for the uh, rocket launchers. Okay, great little trick. Here's the thing. Um, again, Gulf Coast Motor Railroad. You see that little pipe I got there? Okay. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. L let's say we had like a dab of, not on the track, but just like a dab of paint that we we dab that in. Okay. Some will be sucked up into the center of the tube. But what you do is after you you know you, you dab it in the paint, you might want to touch it once to a dry piece of paper. But you see how the tube fits right over the rocket launcher deal? So, you know, you, you do it again, and it paints the rocket launcher as it goes down and as you pull up. But when you put it down on the rocket launcher, it makes like a little circle, and it makes a circle around the rocket launcher. It's a very, very, uh, that's tricks of the trade right there, guys. And um, the vents in the back there, again, get a very, very, very tiny toothbrush. I tell you what. A toothbrush, <laughs> a, uh, a a paintbrush, and I I've actually used uh, paintbrushes that come to a point like a toothpick. Okay, that's how small I'm talking about. That's how small I'm talking about, guys. And then you know you'll do the uh, the, the like the what was it? Uh, Robin had the radar in front of him. Batman had the radar in front of him. And if you want to paint them up like uh, Batman and Robin, I've got it painted up there. Once again, take your time with it you know I've got the Batman you can see his cowl and everything I've got Robin's mask on uh, flesh tones all that stuff and the bat on the side guys there is one trick there is one trick there is one trick you do your best if, if you can nail it freehand great if you could nail it freehand God bless you now what I've done is I've done my best and I put it on there you know with a very fine paintbrush but then as it's drying, I will get an X-Acto knife and I will just make sure that my edges are straight or the, you know, as best I can as it's drying, trying not to scratch the paint, but only take off, a, a, you know, a, a little bit of paint if I, if, I, if I need to. So again, bat, hardest thing to do, paint bat and robin up, not the easiest thing to do, but that's how to do it, guys. And you got the back turbo, same way. I paint the whole thing silver. Um, I think Aurora just painted the ring of it silver. Um, and again, the same procedure as far as the back wings there, just use the um, stick, just use the stick very lightly, the red one obviously, on the fins and whatnot, and again, the, the silver on the inside, get a very, very, very fine, um, um, you know, paintbrush, and you'll be fine, guys, you'll be fine. And if you have, let's say you're making the limo, and you have like odds and ends left over, practice on those first, <laughs> okay, practice on those first, that's the easiest way to do it. 
And uh, if you get the dash, and who else does them? I think like Road Race Replicas does a real good, um, uh, exceptional Batmobile. Um, I don't know if um, the Detroit guys are doing. I don't. I know there's a, there's a couple versions out there, but whatever, which whenever you get um, the, the dash, I'm speaking of right now because the heads come separate, the glass comes separate. I love dash because when you uh, want to paint the head, if you do, it's a whole lot easier doing it. Uh, when you can hold like the little stick that it came on rather than trying to paint it on the Batmobile. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the project. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. If you get stuck in a, in a, in a certain spot, always uh, my email is open for you guys. So just shoot me an email. Say, hey, listen, I got to this part. Uh, can you talk me through a little bit? Just let me know. I will be there for you guys. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this car years ago. Uh, Jeff from Smoking DJs. Have fun, guys.